Sister wives. Sister wives. Not first wives. Sister wives. Listening. I hate that thing. It says listening and then it doesn't understand what I say. Ed Orgeron is a champion. Ed Orgeron got ran, he got run off of campus, Dugats, and now I see him jogging around all shirtless <laughs> on the beach. All the Bomageddon. <laughs> I don't, he's Bomageddon. He's now a part of the Canes program, Canes adjacent. He, he, was, is a, he has a son that works as an analyst on the, uh, on the roster, so he's, and he's got Canes roots, as you know. His stomach is so tan. It is hard. It is a hard stomach, but it's also bulbous. It's the rare, hard bulbous, and he runs, he jogs, he's always exercising. He's been doing it through Coral Gables and through Miami Beach for 30 years down here. Gutfeld. Gutfeld. He used to be a graduate assistant. I'm pretty sure the way I learned the name Ed Orgeron was a drunken bar fight in New Orleans, like when he was a graduate assistant. Hmm. Makes sense. <laughs> House Honors International. That was so long ago. He came up through, was that the Dennis Erickson coaching staff? Like, it was a hard partying coaching staff. And and Ed Orgeron made his way to champion. And then they just. House Hunt is a regular version. Ran him off campus to God. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, the stories, uh, the stories of, that aren't funny about what he was governing over while also flirting with the allegedly allegedly hold on mm. a second hold yes on a second. very hold important on, on. there you go Pawn Pawn to throw away all journalistic credibility and get reckless here is something we like to call reckless speculation you're good flirting with booster wives at the gas station at the local gas station as unwarranted it's reckless i was good <laughs> he's good he played it it was all i don't even know if that's true erroneous Okay, fine. <laughs> Erroneous show. All right, all right, I take it back. Journalistically irresponsible. Okay. Oh, good. look. It's MSNBC. <laughs> I caught up between two voices there. Stugatz, can I get, please? Uh, Fake news. Oh, situation room. Great. I want to cover some of what it is that happened Saturday and Sunday, Stugatz, because I really did forget the Bengals-Vikings game was on until after it had already started. Right. And then the Vikings are ahead, and they're playing great defense. And I'm like, sure, on their fourth quarterback, they'll make the playoffs on half a team of defense. <laughs> and then at the end, Jake Browning becomes this week's Tommy DeVito <laughs> and uh, produces you know, a moment at the end of that game. But yesterday and I want to pair these two quotes against each other which one do you like more here I'm going to start with David Njoku at the end of that game Stugatz it was one of the better ones yesterday Joe Flacco is Baker Mayfield and Joe Flacco are atop the passing rankings this week with yardage and at the end of that game after Flacco threw for nearly 400 yards another Hail Mary Darnell Mooney of the Bears had it in his in his stomach he and, had it. Yeah. I mean, it, it seems that's as close as you can come to just having the game end miraculously on a Hail Mary because it landed in a receiver's stomach, but then he kicks it up the air and it gets intercepted. Uh, intercepted. And David Njoku, who's had a resurgence since Flacco is there, he's been one of the best tight ends in the league. Like, Flacco just keeps throwing to him, and he looks like a superhero. So I would cast this dude in movies. He looks... I, I I would the, the way that he looks physically from the blonde hair of streaks to to him being f uh, physically muscles on top of muscles. He'd be a hard guy not to throw the ball to if I'm a quarterback. Yeah, I'm yes. surprised he's right. been underutilized in the almost his entire time in Cleveland. He drops the ball a lot. That is part of the problem. But let's hear from Njoku as that ball landed in the stomach of Mooney and then bounced away. Myself, dog. <laughs> but, you know, luckily our defense made an exceptional play, you know, uh, sealed the game, and that was it. So what is the better quote? Damn near myself, dog, or here's Jake Browning throwing down his helmet after beating the Vikings. <laughs> Jake Browning. I mean, I love that stuff. Goosebumps, revenge game, all of it. I mean, Eddie's right. All right, let's <laughs> let's look at that again, though. And I tell you, is it any less intimidating because he's got a cul-de-sac of hair? <laughs> because he's already balding and doesn't uh, doesn't look quite uh, quite as superhero as David and Joku here. He takes off his helmet to reveal that Jake Browning, who's got a cut on his arm, there has a cul-de-sac of hair like Jimbo Fisher. <laughs> Should have never <laughs> <got me. laughs> 
Nah, that's harsh. I'm being harsh on my guy that's here. That's your standard male pattern. <laughs> what do I have to do with this? Plus, the blood on the elbow, Dan, really helps. I mean, it does. It does. Dr. Pimple Papa. <laughs> Jake Browning has arrived, Stugatz. The Cincinnati Bengals are in the hunt. Billy had it first. Yeah. God bless football is coming on after us. Billy hasn't had anything first today except that his phone is racist. Well, he said last this last week, week last yeah, week, about yeah. Jake Browning and, and Peter King dismissed Yeah, him. very I mean, dismissive he yeah, was of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because they have Joe Burrow. I mean. uh, speaking of dismissive. For now. Do you understand, Stugatz, that something has happened here? And I don't know. Uh, we're making fun of me because I'm talking to my remote control now. But uh, things in football are happening so fast that six games aren't enough if they're not close in the witching hour. And I couldn't believe today that Billy and Jessica were in agreement on something that I thought, by consensus, was universally beloved. It appears that Billy and Jessica are both done with the red zone. The red Ooh. zone channel that they they are. I've never heard criticism of any sort of the red zone channel from anyone. I don't believe them. We're I'm painting with it. a broad Same. brush. You always go back. Also. No, no. Yeah. I said I'm done with the commercials on the red zone. Okay. I'm tired of the red zone being diminished to a tiny little box so I can see what sale Mercedes Benz has going on at the moment. <laughs> now, December to remember when they make it a little box. Lexus. Happy Honda days. They tell us the to way. go to the uh, NFL.com <laughs> shop for twenty percent off, and there's like a QR code. I'll scan a QR code. Take a little dabble. So it's working. You're done you with them, but it works TV on you. You scan QR codes? Oh, I love it. Seems like you got real back on the commercials really it's a, quick. It's a little mystery. And you're not done with the red zone at all. You just like <laughs> right? buy, you're like shopping there. Like I don't. I don't the, like the little square that it gets diminished to. Yeah. But Jessica like said she was done with the red zone. She was stronger than you on this. You were stronger, but now you've backed off because you don't like the way it sounds coming out of my mouth. But his phone like is racist. Every year, I <laughs> every That's year fast. towards the end of the Jack. season, I'm like, I should be getting a discount for this week because they're putting games on Saturdays, yeah. and I'm not getting the full experience yeah. especially a day like yesterday where all three four o'clock games were just duds mm-hmm. like i was like oh i'll bills cowboys that'll be a good game i'll just put that full screen no that one stunk and they all stunk and i'm like what am i doing what are, what are we doing red zone Whoa. what are we doing nfl schedule things out evenly so i have an even amount of games to binge watch in the morning <laughs> and an even amount to binge watch in the afternoon no Saturday. They have spoiled us, but their greed extends no into Saturdays. Saturdays. No Saturdays. No, I hate Saturday NFL games. I do. It's Saturdays How? for college football. I want to watch the Bad L.A. Take. Bowl. I don't want to watch the Steelers and the Colts, two disgusting teams. I hate both of them. Like, I'm okay with having my Saturdays back. <laughs> no. Like, I'm good with NFL Sundays, football, college football you for the most part. Me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm just the, – the, I love the red zone. I'm not with you on that. What I'm with you on is the – I, I don't need Saturday games. football. I'm just saying I'm, I don't hate – the red zone i just feel like this time of year i'm not getting the value out of it yeah. that i feel like i should be getting out of I mean, it and scott hansen is still a delight though he's just a delight i don't care how many games he's watching i like to hear his voice i don't love the red zone it, it's it's dizzying it's too much and i don't like it nearly What's as happened much to all with of scott you? hansen as i who am i surrounded by right now the siliano was a little bit better at it than scott hansen oh, come on. i also don't like the four box i do not like three games and the red zone channel it's very confusing it's quad and box. sometimes the quad box Sometimes the red zone is ahead of the game that you're actually trying to watch. It's a weird deal. That's road truckers. Yeah. I can't believe what's happening I'm around here. I'm saying I want more games. I'm saying I want more football at once. But I don't, don't say want it through s- the prism of crushing the red zone. It's not the red zone's I'm not fault. Crushing it's crushing the it's red Roger zone. It's Roger Goodell's fault. It is the red zone's fault for not being like, hey, God, Hansen's we'll give perfect. you like 20% off because you get 20% fewer games. It sounds it sounds like you're close to withholding your money. It sounds like you're in the realm of uh, you can't do it's it, not, though, it's right? Never it's happen. not possible. And right? I've been a Sunday ticket girly my entire life. Since the dawn of Sunday ticket, I've always – because I want to get every single game. I'm not going to not watch – So you're not done games. in any way with the red zone. <laughs> not really. I am not done, and I will never be Okay, done. so but it's you're just – so it's an empty – They have me in a chokehold. They have me in a chokehold, and I hate it, Okay, so I love it. Okay, but, but I you, want more. But you announced that you were you. Were you now, want more good games. This is what I don't understand because Billy's right about this part. I thought the whole thing with Red Zone is you weren't going to give me any commercials. I thought that's the whole reason. Like, don't you, get me started on streaming services. Also, that now have commercials. I went to a streaming service to get away from the commercials. You you guys just reinvented cable at a more expensive. That's rate. right. Well, they have to get their money back though. It's not. Well, manage your money better. Stop making so much shows that you're spending eight hundred billion dollars on. Okay, you don't need to keep increasing my. Subscription it's, fee every month. It's still a commercial if I can see the game. Like they 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 think they're tricking me. Where if I still see the game in this little box, <laughs> like oh I'm not watching a commercial. Hey, here's where you're we, watching a commercial. Here's where we they disagree. Got you. Here's where we disagree on the red zone. Get that out of here. I don't want to see the side commercial. Now 
on a regular TV broadcast. I'm still watching football yes. during the commercials. Right. This is great. When did this start? When did uh, ridiculousness? <laughs> when did it start that commercials started populating the red zone that proudly wasn't about commercials ever? It but, was about touchdowns. But but I'm I'm wondering if what's happened here is because it's leaving Direct TV or because it's left Direct TV and is is now on on YouTube whether. The new model is, yeah, we don't have to respect this no commercial thing. Like that's seven straight hours of kind of commercial, kind of commercial free football. Yeah. Because they have no more competition. Because DirecTV, Andrew Siciliano was never going to commercial. He wasn't. YouTube, uh, well, neither is Scott Hansen. He's not going to commercial. It's just forming around. No, what is... he'll read a read. He'll remember when like, he used to mock? NFL.com. Remember how much, how he used to cackle whenever, like, a game they were on started to go commercials? He, it would cut back to him. We, we don't do that around I know, here. I know, but all, all of us can understand when they pay this amount of money to get these football games. We all understand, sort of, we can step back from, I don't, yeah, I, I don't want any commercials. No, thank you. But, uh, hey, here comes creeping capitalism. Yeah. Like, of course, they're going going to want to make some of their money back. They're paying billions of dollars, and I'm not going to be able to find a game on on Peacock on Saturday. And Magruba. Amazon has killed some of their numbers. You guys could just avoid capitalism altogether and watch all the bowl games, like the L.A. Bowl presented by Gronk. <laughs> How much of that did you watch? All what, of it. Did Gronk put his accent on it? Was it ridiculously Gronk? What Does were the Gronk have an accent? He's great on Fox, by the way. I watched the full Fox Very good. pregame show on, on Thanksgiving this year. You you don't think he's good? Yeah. I he I was tickled. I by felt Gronk. bad for them. They flew him all the way to New York to put him out in the cold and the snow for no reason. Oh, I'm sure he's on getting paid to be freezing on Thanksgiving in New York, Billy. <laughs> but why did they have to do that to them? It Just was a because? fun and, and uh, Antonio Lafaso from Food Network, one of Coach O's favorite chefs. She was on there and she was making food for the whole crew. And I was like, Why am I watching this? Why do I like it so much? Am I am I getting? Is this what aging is like? I like the pregame content on Fox now. <laughs> You watch Columbo. <laughs> to answer your original question, Gronk. It's Giada. Gronk sang the national anthem before the bowl game. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hero. <laughs> Barefoot Contessa. Weekend observations with Stugatz is coming up in about uh, 10 minutes. What are you laughing about? I'm just laughing at Kojo. I love Barefoot Contessa. Yeah, she's, great. she's the best. She did this episode with Stanley Tucci though recently. What? Maybe maybe like six months ago. Have you guys been seeing Stanley Tucci's Italy show? I'm over yep. him. Enough of him. What? Enough of Italy. I mean, seriously. Oh, it's such a good show. I feel like Italy did have a moment, but too much Italy. Whoa. We need a little less. Too much Italy. Tucci? Yes. Oh, him too, yeah. yeah. There's no oh, such thing oh, as too God. much Tucci. And as an Italian American. I agree with you. A lot of Italy these days. I'm not saying, I'm just saying everyone's doing everything in Italy. Uh, let's see another country. Put it on the poll at Lebetard Show. Is there such a thing as too much Tucci? It's and really the White Lotus ruined it for everyone. Hey. Speaking of Italians, can we get the agent for uh, Tommy DeVito uh, that was at the game with the Saints on He probably Sunday. dialed it back a little bit, right, after all the attention he got? Um, he got a lot of attention. He was inducted into nope, the nope, Italian Hall of Fame, and he showed up with a green <laughs> jacket, all green. Hall of Fame jacket. Um, he looks um, unlike Ridiculous. anyone else on an NFL sideline. The agent for Tommy DeVito. How do I get in that Hall of Fame? Oh, I don't know. It's on the street that my grandma grew up on in Chicago. Wow, fun fact. Taylor. Can we look up some other luminaries? Can we look up some other uh, people who are in the Italian Hall of Fame? I saw and Priscilla see? Presley was like an honoree at, at Italian American Hall of Fame night. Hmm. Can we create a campaign somehow around uh, believing in you as an honorary uh, worthy of the Italian Hall of Fame nominee. I feel Let's like my last name's not going to help me because it's not Italian, but I'm 80% Italian. Be Bobby Flay. American. <laughs> Stugatz, before we get to other football things, including, and this one, this one's kind of stunning. I feel bad, Stugatz, last week. There was a report that Belichick's going to be fired, and we never got to it. And right. now you've officially got Tomlin and Belichick on hot seats, and mm. I can't believe I've lived long enough to see it. But we'll get to that in just a second. The thing that I wanted to talk about, though, when we talk about streaming services and rich people getting absurdly, obscenely rich. Priscilla Presley was awarded the Tommy Lasorda Humanitarian Award this year. 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> Please get me as much information as you can on the Italian Hall of Fame. Oh, Frank like O'Harris was also honored. <laughs> this may be a cursed award. I thought he was Irish. At the Italian Awards? <laughs> Both of those people have died recently, correct? Kick balls. <laughs> Stugatz, Mark Zuckerberg. Frank O's Italian Army. Mark Zuckerberg. Italian Hall of Fame? No. Oh. Zuckerberg has in Hawaii. This is uh, something I have not seen before, and uh, the Globe hasn't really seen it. In Hawaii, he is outraging people all over Hawaii because he is buying expensive, giant chunks of land. And he has spent more than $100 million on what appears to be something that has been reported feels doomsday preppy. It's it's 12 buildings, it's two mansions, but it's underground bunker that is self-sustained that if the apocalypse comes, he can live underground with food and his own energy because he's creating a compound that allows him to live the way no rich person, doomsday prepper type has ever spent on a facility that will allow him to have his own wor world. It's 30 bedrooms, 30 baths, but it's also 12 buildings, and, right. he's, and he's building a giant bunker that connects everything and allows him to be protected from whatever desperation is outside his walls. I mean, that's a heady play. If you could afford it, why would you not do that? Because it feels like the end is near. It does. Every day feels like it might be the last day. And who doesn't want to have that kind of place to hang out in while everything kind of settles out? You know what I'm saying? I watched this movie over the weekend. Like, settles out, you know? You figure out who's still here, who's not here, Who's alive? Who's not alive? Who made it? Who didn't make it? You pop out in like three or four weeks just to take a peek, just to, you know, kind of gauge the waters. But I watched this Julia Roberts movie over the weekend, Dan. It's a bad movie. I mean, it starts off good, but then it collapses right when a group of 1,000 deer are staring Julia Roberts in the face, and she does some wacky motions to make the deer run away. Plus, do me a favor. Just tell me the ending. Well, what movie? You haven't even said the movie. You just said a uh, Julia Roberts It's movie. Netflix. Yeah, it's, it's Netflix. It's something about the last day, leave, the end of the world. Leave the world, world behind. behind. Yeah, uh, leave the world good. behind. I wanted to right. have him fish for a little bit longer. Yeah. Leave the world behind. You know what, Dan? I that hate. That fun. That's my bad. When Wait I a minute. Before into... you get to your aggressive takes, oh, can you tired do of the, it. the movie The Courtesy? Of what? Of, what are you I'll, tired I'll of? The it. end of I'm the world? teasing it like Dan's dolphin thoughts. No, I'm tired of movies not giving me the ending. I don't want to guess the ending. I don't want to try to figure it out. I want you to tell me the ending. I don't want to think about All what right, the ending might on. be. Hold on might they meet up again? I mean, what That's happens right, at the end yeah. of Friends? I don't Please, know. Please, hold on just a second, okay? Because there are some spoilers this here. It's a brand new movie. Yeah. There are some spoilers Sorry. here. Please, Stugatz, don't okay. be an asshole about every single thing in the world. Please. Apologies. We've got a uh, spoiler alert. There's a Netflix movie that Stugatz has seen. Apologies. <laughs> he, he took the A off it. It was just apologies, like olden Polonies. It was like uh, he didn't even give me the courtesy. Small windows. I have to take a letter off every of now and again. A. Yeah. Apologies. <laughs> apologies. I have to do it. That's, I mean. that's when Stugatz gives you the most sincere of apologies, <laughs> when he can't even be bothered with the A so that the apology is complete. Feels like something Tommy DeVito's agent would say. Yeah. Apologies. Apologies. <laughs> A movie that is the number one movie on Netflix that is, I don't know how much Julie Roberts has made lately, but um, this is also a spoiler alert. I've never seen her dance before. Strange to see. That was weird. Yep. It's unusual. I don't think you've ever seen it. It's noticeable in that I, I took inventory all of a sudden. Has <laughs> Julia Roberts ever danced in a movie? I did not know that that's how she danced. Right. Is she doing that for effect or is she just not very good at dancing? It looked like her first time. I mean, it, it did yes. look like her first time. Mm. But I liked that movie. Mm. I want to explore, though, how this group would handle doomsday situations. I want this movie is about how how the end is near. Put that on the poll as well, Juju at Levitard Show. Is the end near? <laughs> Zuckerberg wants to build a compound to hide from the rest of us. Right. And Billy is saying, if it's the end of the world, Take he, me. he doesn't want to survive. I don't want to know. <laughs> that Bill I mean. well, no, but Billy doesn't want to. 
go home to home worried that somebody in the bushes is going to run out with a cleaver and, and need the food that he has. And so Billy's like, I don't want, you know what, you survivalist, you go ahead and live in your bunker, $100 million, just take me out. I don't want to live in that world. Yeah, is that crazy? What about your family? They can come with me. Oh, to, Wow. Dark. I don't want them to live in that <laughs> world. Do you? They run out of I, I food. You're starving to death. There's Billy. no electricity. There's no way to get anything. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna die a slow death. You want to be the last person alive on Earth for what reason? For I'd like, what? I'd like to check out my the surrounding. Like, oh, shit, sitting the fan here. Let's see what's going on over here. That's what I'm saying. You build like a thing that Zuckerberg has. You pop up every three or four weeks just to kind of gauge the climate, see what's Someone happening. Someone should know? look into that. It's so bleak. I don't want to be bartering antibiotics for food with yeah. all yeah. my friends and family dead somewhere. Yeah. I just, I, I've seen The Last of Us. That's a scary world. You guys just want to live in this perfect world. Yeah. It's not that easy for everybody. <laughs> yeah. I want to be here as long as I can be here. I want games at 1 o'clock, games at 4 o'clock, a Sunday night game, and what a Monday night game. But no <laughs> Saturday games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking for no Saturday games. So guys, in this world, there's no more football. I know. You want to live in that world? Uh, no. How can how can you be allowed just to build thirty rooms underground and no one question what's going but, on there? Oh no, people are questioning it. This is unfortunate because if you've skipped ahead because of the spoiler alert, we still haven't gotten to it. And it might sound that we've totally changed the topic, but we haven't. We're still there. <laughs> if shit hits the fan though, like you could we could create football again. We could be the Roger Goodell. Right. How I would, would have you, a chance. Where would you broadcast it? I'm just saying. How would you if, broadcast if, like, anything? If there was like a hundred people left on earth. I'd be like, all right, I got football, guys. I'll build football. I would up. have a chance to got. Yes. You'd think, let, okay, put it on the poll, Juju. If there were 100 people left on earth, is to got Jim Brown? <laughs> I have a chance. <laughs> My chances are better. Why are his teeth falling out? Serious. And who pulls out their own teeth? Stop spoiling this movie. <laughs> what do you mean? Jim Brown? Mike Ryan liked the movie. I like the movie. I don't know what you're doing with the ending. Stugatz really does want the ending. Just tell me what to think. I thought the I ending was pretty clear. Do they reunite? Are they happy? Do they make it? He likes the movie. At the end, when you get like the little paragraphs on like the characters, this is what happened to this character. Right. This is what happened to this character. I don't yes. even like that. I feel like, do we run out of money? You can't act out what happened to you? Well, Show me I'm, in video form. I'm not reading a book. I'm with you. But in the absence of that, put a bow on it the way Chris just suggested. I'm fine with that. Tell me what happens. You like the end of like Animal House? Or whatever, where it like shows the person like a freeze frame, and then it's like oh, 30 yeah. years later, this person became a senator. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he wants. <laughs> and this one, it just be a bunch of cemetery plots. <laughs> 30 years later, everybody was dead. I do think it sets up for a sequel, no? You don't think that's oh, part of the plan? A sequel to the and world if it, ending? If I mean, it's, it's over. If I mean, it's uh, setting already. up for a, se uh, a sequel, then the, the ending makes a little bit more Mike, sense. Mike, I'm just no? saying Field of Dreams. It leaves you with nothing to think about, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a cornfield. Ghosts come out of it. His, him and his dad have Whoa, a catch. They come full sounds circle. Sounds like there's plenty to think about. I mean, the last yeah. dance, that's it. Jordan's if, the greatest. Exactly I mean. right. <laughs> if I tell people. I'm so sick Jesus. of the end of the world and yeah. all of this. Right. There's a whole economy on the world ending. End already. This is the end. Did it right. Worlds, I dare you to end if you're going to end. End right now. Oh, Stop don't dragging say that. this shit out. Meteors, if you're listening to me, come or don't. What are you, Shut Lieutenant up already. Dan on the top of the Forrest Gump ship? Like, what are you doing shaking I'm your just fist so at the sick storms. of it. Everybody's worrying everyone. The world's going to end the world. Guess what? I'll, You'll I'm, be fine. If I tell you. Or that, you won't. And there's nothing you can do to When stop it ends, it, it ends. I mean, exactly if, right. If the billionaires would rather be like, I'm going to save myself and live in a bunker than like actually put their billions into solutions that could make, you know, life easier for people, allevi mm -hmm. alleviate famine and starvation and poverty. I feel like we're in a bad place. How about this also, Zuck? Isn't the world flooding? Like, maybe don't build 30 rooms underground because I'm going to just put a hose down there and flood you out. Mm -hmm. And Bezos wants to go to space. What is going on here? We're going to go to the core of the earth or we're going to go to space? Space, the club here in Miami. Neither he's, seem practical. He's, he's, Who's the rich guy? That's why I want to be where the, when the world ends. Who's the rich guy that just wants to stay right here? That's what we need. Mm -hmm. Dan. The idea that Ethan Hawke, Julia Roberts... And Kevin Bacon would be in a World is Ending movie. That's easy why it is. That's the number one movie on Netflix. And it's also funny, Stugatz, that that's where the millions are going. So that Kevin Bacon could be on his front porch with a shotgun. But what about the teeth? It's a good question, Stugatz. But I believe it was a mystery poison uh. that had... Uh, 
that had made their son uh, desperate and dying. Was it the tick or Havana? Havana. Oh, for the love of God, Stugatz, you can't hear either. <laughs> Hervana. Apologies. 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 <laughs> Segment was over. It is time for Stugatz to share his game notes. No one in the media will tell you what happened better than my boy Stu. Weekend observations brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste. 96 calories available for delivery. Dan, he is always waiting in the wings with a clipboard in his hands. Pressed into action after an injury for his first start since week 18 of the 2021 season. He reminded you why you pay him to do what it is he does. Only one touchdown with a pick six thrown in there. But snatch victory. Away from the jaws of a tie, keeping his team squarely in the mix. And Dan, just like that, make no mistake about it, Case Keenum is back. <laughs> what a year. How about the Titans <laughs> going up 13 to nothing? Chris Cody, that Titans loss is going to stay with you. Yeah. It was still lingering around that game yesterday. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Good loss, though. According to OJ, big 106 postgame show. John Collins lives on the trade block. Also, I thought he was still with the Hawks. Death, taxes, and Todd Gibson and Tom Thibodeau reuniting. It's unbelievable. They're always together. It's unbelievable. Fibs. How, how is Todd Gibson a Nick? <laughs> how old is Todd Gibson? No idea. What do you mean, how is he a Nick? Where Tom I, Thibodeau I, I, goes, Taj Gibson no, but goes. How is he still in the league? How is Thibodeau still saying I could get nine, <laughs> nine minutes out of that? I don't know. When you send mail to John Collins, the address you use is the trade block. The Dodgers are trading for Tyler Glass now from the Rays. You know what that means, Dano? I don't. The rich get richer. Oh, uh, Billy, did you see this pass and put this out? The Dodgers have spent $717 million in free agency. The Marlins have spent $0. It's early. <laughs> it's still early. Give them time. You have the Marlins spending? <laughs> and the Dodgers stop spending? Seven hundred. That's not even the Glass Now extension. They just took Tampa's ace. You got to wait for the right deal. Just get the lay of the mean? land. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. You got just moments ago, we were talking about Mostert and how the Dolphins didn't bite on Dalvin Cook. Maybe. Alabama hires former Michigan linebacker coach. George... Maybe what, Billy? Sorry. Sorry. No, I'm no I sorry. got in the way of your conversation. I, I feel sorry. bad. I'm... Apologies. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Where was I? Apologies. Uh, Alabama hires former Michigan linebacker coach George Hello ahead of Rose Bowl matchup. Little thing I like to call gamesmanship, Dan. Hello from the other sideline. Dead and Company are reportedly in talks to reunite for a residency at the Sphere in Las Vegas in 2024. Viva Las Dugats. Witty, put it on the calendar. I invited Dan to come with me. I told him we'd take shrooms, we'd figure out the world together. You in? No. What do you mean, no? Shrooms. Yeah, you mentioned that. The Sphere. Yes. Dead and Company. You mentioned You like John Mayer. I have not ever used mushroom. Oh. I thought you went to the last show ever. I thought I did. I thought John Mayer was done. <laughs> what happened to John Mayer been done? He's back. After his European tour. This is summer 2024. The Detroit Pistons haven't won a game since October 28th. 23 straight losses. For context, when the Pistons last won... The World Series was still going on. For more context, when the Pistons last won, Colorado football had a winning record. How about that? It was a long time ago. Yep. North Carolina, Kentucky, Battle of Blue Bloods. Miami and LaSalle, Battle of Blue Bloods. You're welcome. Who, Purdue. Who are you? What are you doing? Well, Mike wanted, you know, he thinks Miami's a blue blood. He's right. Purdue. Blah, blah, blah. Also. Do it in March. Ohio, winning with their third-string quarterback and third-string running back in the Myrtle Beach Bowl. 
Next man up. How uh, how bad is FSU going to be against Georgia because of all of the people in the portal? Like what? How many? What's the spread in that game going to grow to when people aren't playing in that bowl game? I think it's fourteen. But Georgia's got a lot of portal players yeah. right now too. But I have Georgia. A lot of confidence points. Dang. Sorry, FSU. Jake Browning being cut by the Vikings. Jake Browning beating the Vikings. A little thing I like to call a revenge game. Jake Browning screaming on the sideline. They should have never cut me. You know what he played with, Dan? I do not. He played with a chip on his shoulder. Oh, How'd I, you not know that? Well, I thought I was thinking right. he played with fire. I got caught in the cliche. My mm -hmm. bad. I'm sorry. It's okay. Apologies. Po apologies. Yes. There you go. If you just listened to how much people talk about Tommy DeVito, you would have no idea the Giants were 5-9. and nine. You know what the T and D stands for in Tommy DeVito? Oh, no. Not touchdowns. Dan, you know what the Cowboys had for dessert yesterday? Humble pie. Yeah, wow. <laughs> You're back on your game. <laughs> I'm proud of you. It really doesn't deserve a wow. It it's, does. No. That was a good guess. I mean, could have been a number of things. <laughs> not really. It could have only Just been. Just humble pie. It's, 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 it's when I get them right. It's not because you've left so many options on the table. You saw how I got tripped up by playing with fire instead of <laughs> a did. chip on the shoulder. <laughs> I stand corrected. Yes. Uh, when, Apology. When there's only one, I can get it. Somebody should tell Arthur Smith. That he has Drake London, Kyle Pitts, and B. John Robinson. Oh, no. Go to hell, Falcons. Just go to hell. Well, they're still in it. Take the entire division with you. Joe Flacco did what Joe Flacco does. Except, Joe Cool. Except for Baker. Baker can stay. Perfect passer rating. Baker can stay. Man. Darn, comeback player of the year. <laughs> Damar Hamlin's still that one tackle. So, right. do what you will. Not only did Dak Prescott lose the game. He lost the MVP. Oh, check down, Dak. Jesus. Yeah. did we, we didn't have it that way, right? We didn't have it that way. Dallas overwhelming at home. Uh, we didn't have it. You can't get the ball down the field. You're going to check down everything. Was it like 3.9 yards per pass? Is that what he did? Yep. That offense. Humble pie. Josh Allen only had 94 passing yards yeah. yesterday, too. I guess yes. They ran the ball day. well. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, 174 yards or whatever. Well, Josh game. Allen also ran the ball well. He's very hard to tackle. Mm -hmm. You know James Cook didn't get the game ball? What? Who did? <laughs> Josh Allen. No way. Yeah. For handing it off to James Cook? Baker Mayfield, 381 yards, four touchdowns, and a big win over Green Bay. You know what he has, Dan? Cojones? The goods. Oh. Mike's going to be right. You're struggling today, Dan. Jimmy Graham will be catching red zone touchdowns for the rest of eternity. If you were wondering where Sam Darnold was, he's in San Francisco playing backup quarterback for the 49ers. They're going to score 35 on everybody, right? Like, that's just where we are with that team. If they're healthy, it's 35 if on everybody. If they're healthy, yes. I love bowl week. That's it? all I got. Who do you have today? Who's playing? We got a 1 o'clock game on a Monday. Right? I took Western Kentucky. The Hilltoppers. Uh, yeah. I have them too. Who's playing? How many bets are you making? A lot. It, it's that bowl it's, season, it's Dan. It's the famous toastery bowl, Dan. <laughs> He's actually 5-1 and one in his bowl picks Thank so you. far. Yeah. 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 He's never seen any of these teams mm -hmm. very clearly when You're, he describes his picks. but Your entire life is bowl season. I had two people speaking in my ear at one time problem apologies mine was on air <laughs> he's becoming your father he is it's happening slowly you saw fortunately it, you saw for it me at the end of last segment every week is ball week anyone else alarmed by the amount of planes almost hitting other planes i just said that oh uh, in my ear though about the planes apologies great effort by the dolphin defense you don't just do that Against the reigning offensive player of the week in the AFC. <laughs> Last week, Dallas was the best team in the NFL. This week, they are not. The last thing you want to see in January is Josh Allen strolling into your stadium. You don't want to see it, Dan. Do you guys think that Philadelphia, it must be, right? Philadelphia looks at 
what's at the top of the sport in Baltimore and San Francisco and says we're up there with those two teams, correct? Even though yes. San Francisco – like the rest of us, though, are a pretty good place understanding – uh, Philadelphia won a lot of one-score games. Hertz is now hurt, and it seems like Baltimore and San Francisco are they're better than everyone he's else. He's sick, I think. Not mm-hmm. hurt, right? Well, mm-hmm. he's both. The 700 Club. <laughs> Do you trust anyone but the 49ers this season? I don't trust the 49ers. You don't trust the Ravens, huh? Mm. No. We've been there before. <laughs> the Ingram Dan? Angle. Oh, sorry. You haven't lived. Apologies. Until you have $500. On the University of Ohio at 11 a.m. on a Saturday morning in the Myrtle Beach Bowl. The Bobcats. It's too much to have on that game. But I won. Brock Purdy. Do it in the playoffs. What a time to be a backup quarterback. The first time they got inside the 50-yard line was in the third quarter. I hate them. Jared Goff. Bounce back game. 12 three-pointers. 47 points. You know what the K in Keegan Murray stands for, Dan? I do not. Caught fire. How would I have gotten that one? I don't know. Cooper Flagg, the number one recruit in the class of 2024 from Newport, Maine, might have the best nickname in all of sports. You ready for it? I am. The main event. I saw all these people tweeting about Keegan Murray, and I thought Liv got another golfer. <laughs> Main event, you get it? For Maine? Yes, I didn't think it was the greatest nickname in sports. Jimmy Butler, called game. Jimmy Buckets, also, do it in the IST. Dan, you know what the I in Indiana stands for? I do not. Isn't a blue blood anymore. Jacoby Brissett is a commander. Keegan Murray scored how much? The Titans did what the Titans do. Tommy DeVito. What does that mean? They did what they do. They won a game against the Dolphins. They shouldn't have won. They lost a game. They shouldn't have lost. 13 consecutive years without making the playoffs. I hate them. Dallas Cowboys, do it on the road. Dolphins, do it against a good team. Here come the Panthers. Whatever inefficiencies Come on. Josh Allen has. Come on. Which Panthers? Come on. Neither the Florida Panthers. No, oh, the go. Florida <laughs> Panthers got shut out twice. They beat the Oilers. For the first time in 12 years. Yeah, they beat the Oilers after. Whatever inefficiencies Josh Allen may have, he makes up for them with guts. If you think Joe Flacco is going to sweat walking into your stadium for a playoff game in January, you are mistaken. That is correct. Congratulations to the Jets for being the first team in NFL history to reach 500 good losses. Ty Chandler rushing for 132 yards is proof you should never pay a running back. Also, who the hell is Ty Chandler? Speaking of hell, Art Bryles. Dan, those are the weekend observations.